Shooting it straight, Brothers Osborne, Kicks 105.5, a great day. Joining me now is Mike Barrett. How are we doing, Mike? I am well. How are you? I'm uh, just trying to get your level there, Hey, buddy. is your phone ringing? Uh, my phone usually is ringing. Why? It, look, uh, it just looked I like can, it was ringing. Oh, okay. I'll just turn it off. I'll hang it upside oh, down. Yeah. I know I usually get many interruptions while you're here. Yeah. It's because people are so excited they start commenting, Ooh, Barrett's in the studio. Ooh, what's he wearing? <laughs> hey, did he bring you coffee like he's promised you for four years? Uh, no. No. You know, I, I go by the old adage, keep them wanting more. So I want you to always think that coffee's coming. So you're always looking forward to so me coming. So I'm always excited to see you. And, and then when there's no coffee for you. Uh, oh, it's Mike Barrett. <laughs> Barrett Insurance Agency, uh, serving the kingdom since? Uh, well, 1989. Under really? The, yeah, yeah. The year I graduated high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. What year did you graduate? 1993. Okay. So we're so, not too far off. Not too far off. No. I mean, you're far off, but that's a whole well, story. Well, I'm way out there, too. Um, so things have been good for Th- uh, you and business and yeah. spring and the family? So things are really starting to pick up again. You know, there are uh, there is like a mini lull season uh, sometimes in the first of the year uh, through the first quarter where mm-hmm. there's not a lot of action. So so many reasons why. Well, People nah. hunker down for winter, man. Well, we are still hi- hibernating. We all hibernated. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Um, so, I mean, don't get me wrong. We have plenty going on, but it, it's definitely picked up. Uh, so there's a lot of action. A lot of uh, there's houses being listed for sale. Again, there's houses selling. So it's it's getting very busy. But the good thing about kind of the lull in the season, it gives us an opportunity to do some things that maybe we haven't had time to do. And I thought I'd throw it at you this morning. We're actually, I wanted to announce a couple of uh, community grants. You do your grants. thing, and I have one question. So go ahead. All right. So uh, Cooperative Insurance out of Middlebury, Vermont, they offer uh, community grants. And directors and agents, and I believe even employees of Cooperative Insurance, and they're based out of Middlebury, Vermont, they can find an organization that is in need and put in an application for a grant. And we ended up doing it for two local organizations. We did it for Food Works Enterprises on Railroad Street in St. Johnsbury, and we did it for St. Johnsbury History and Heritage Center on so you're, Summer Street. You're saying this is like a grant to help them pay for like their uh, renter's insurance? Or? Uh, no. So this is just a, hey, we're going to give you some money to help you out. So uh, as an example, Food Works Enterprises is going to be opening up Breakout Bakery. It's going to be a, it's a nonprofit organization uh, really helping people to get back into society from being incarcerated, and they're going to help employ them and make and teach them how to become bakers kind of a cool way to reintegrate somebody into society oh wait wait i got a name for it you ready what con man croissant <laughs> i like it i don't know if they'll take it but so uh so they're in an early phase of multiple stages of building out and uh so cooperative insurance awarded a grants that we were able to match so and that's how it works is the agent matches the grant so five hundred dollars from cooperative insurance and five hundred dollars from barrett insurance Ex-con for a total bagels. of thousand dollars <laughs> No? <laughs> and then St. Johnsbury History and Heritage Center up on Summer Street. If you've never been, you got to go. St. Johnsbury to History. To the new place. It, it looks it, amazing when I see stuff online. It, it's awesome. So we met with Peggy. We did the same thing. It was a $500 community grant that was awarded to them from Cooperative. We matched it with ours. So $1,000 to them. And I believe initially it was earmarked for like the north roof that needs some repair, but there may, you know, there may be some funds to do more. Um, but we got a tour with Peggy around the facility, and it is awesome awesome so that's right not, up for you no it's a good thing it's a good thing no this was not a donation this was just here Feel here's good, so, good here is a grant and uh so but if you haven't gone to st johnsbury history and heritage they have the original fairbanks platform scale with the carriage that the fairbanks family came into town on and it's awesome it's in working order they have fairbanks scales vintage ones around they have st johnsbury trucking uh, section they have some memorabilia from the war the it's, whole reason that we exist here in the Northeast Kingdom is right there. That carriage, yeah, <laughs> coming into town. Exactly. Yeah, it looks like a good place to lay things out. Oh, they have. It's... I bet they only have winter, like what, seven months out of the year. <laughs> Let's stay here. Let's come and have fun. And My curious question. So, um, anyway, so I just wanted. It's not not always where we can say an insurance company. Has, has this done real positive thing. Happy, warm, fuzzy. And, and, and that, we were just really honored. And more information is on our Facebook page if you're curious. So your I just your wife to talked that. you into that, didn't she? No. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. No. No. So the other day, I uh, had my muffler split because of the weather. Uh-huh. Had it uh, welded back together. Uh, hit a bump, unwelded, broke again. So I got to go fix it again. This is like a $60 fix. Unless I need to get a whole new muffler system, then it's like a $300 fix. Right. Um should I tell my insurance agent, <clears throat> that's you, by the way, um, that the muffler's broken and I'm spending 60 bucks on it and file a claim? No. Because I have such a high deductible, because yeah. I have 
such a uh, a high insurance rate because of things in my history. I almost said criminal history. <laughs> <laughs> what have you not told me? Yeah. But uh, so it, it, you say that to me, but would you say that to anybody else? I would. So if you have a loss that, uh, you know, always call. In fact, I had a client the other day uh, backing out of their garage. Uh, they have the folded mirrors on their vehicle mm-hmm. and smashed they typically are used to having those folded in. Well, they forgot to fold them in and yes, they smashed one off and they're like, I don't know if I should file a claim and what's that going to do to my, my premium and you know, I'm relatively new with this carrier and I said, here's the deal. It's a crystal ball so we're not really going to know how it's going to, it's going to impact a little bit, no matter what. Right. Um, especially since you're relatively new with the carrier. I said but look at how much it's going to cost you to repair this and compare that to what little increment of uh, increase you could have over the next couple of policy periods. And even if it was the same, would you rather have it deferred? You're almost deferring your payment at that point, right. um, which I highly suspect it would not be close to that. Uh, but if you always look to see what your deductible is. You kind of like say to yourself, look, man, if it's like under 300 bucks, just take care of it. If yeah. it's over that, like, yeah, then we should talk. I'm on, if it was the door and mirror. If you're not meeting deductible or if once deductible is met, you're only looking at a possibility of 100 to two or $300 payment from the insurance carrier, I throw it out there kind of like mom giving you guidance, like, be good tonight, you yeah. know? <laughs> follow it yeah. or don't follow yeah, it. You know, I mean, I want to leave it up to the insured. It's really ultimately their decision. But And then you got to go back to mom a week later. She's pregnant. <laughs> uh, my insurance rates have now been... Uh, but, that, I mean, it's really up to you. It's what, what you're comfortable doing. And if you feel that you need to file a claim, remember, that's why it's there. But things that happen frequently can become problematic over time for your rates. So Mike Barrett, Barrett Insurance Agency. If you'd like to find out more, you can give him a call at 748-5224. Visit our website, thebarrettagency.com, Google, Facebook, and YouTube, all Barrett Insurance Agency. Plus Peace, we're brother. on Portland Street in St. James. Peace. Hopefully you get a lot of people coming down there and not just to uh, to get insurance, but to get peace of mind. I think that you uh, do a wonderful job of, uh, maybe that's why you and Jeff Scarpino from Off the Beaten Trail uh-huh. are, are friends because the both of you are so like, It'll be okay. No, he's so dirty. I talk a lot. I'm like, just like, hey, how's it going? I I actually want to go to Jeff for therapy for For, myself. For for the family. Yeah, no, I I feel the same way. All right, see you next Wednesday. All right.